what I've wanted to do with my dining room. So. Oh. Connects to select Sony cameras that have Bluetooth capability. You can basically then hold the camera with the grip, and I'll show you that in a second when I show you how to set it up. got a new camera you guys I got a new camera um let me show you here okay guys um unboxing my camera with you guys this is the Sony ZV-E10 to get into it so this is the camera console itself um this was an extra battery that came with it um here's Oh no, this was the battery charger, my bad. And then this was the extra battery that it came with as well as um, the shooting grip with wireless remote commander. So you can actually control the camera with um, this shooting grip that you hold. So let's do, let's go for the camera first, shall we? Yeah. So, Opening it up, there's instruction manuals, of course. So I did kind of mess around with this, so it's not exactly as it is originally packaged. Um, you guys will forgive me for that. I was excited. Um, but here is the camera. So it's quite compact as you can see, it's not as bulky as I was afraid that it would be. It comes with um, the detachable lens so you can detach it and put whatever lens you prefer to use. And yeah, it's got the extendable screen as well, which is just a vlog must have so that you can see yourself when you've got the camera facing to you. And it comes with obviously like the charger, the battery charger. Oh, then I must be hella wrong with what this was. I think this was the battery. Yeah, this was the one battery and then this was the second battery. Anywho. And then it comes with like, I think this would be like a little, I'm not sure what this is guys. I will have to read the instructions and just get into it. But it comes with obviously everything that you would need, cables and the like. And then in here is the little fuzzy thingy my bobbies, uh, what they call a pop filter. So this is, this is the microphone. So this goes on to the mic covers the mic so that like your peas don't pop they're like muffled a little bit um so yeah this is the sony zv e10 let's bust her open let us switch her on and there she goes You just zoom her in, zoom her out, and start her recording. Fun. So let's get into let's stop recording. The shooting grip. So this 
is comes with its own set of instructions that I will not read. And then here is the shooting grip. So basically it fits, um, it's got like a little button on the top here and it's got a little button on the side. So the button on the top is what you press when you wanna fit it to the bottom. There's like a little hole that it will just fit into and then you twist this thing to kind of tighten it up so you'll twist it the one way to try and tighten it up and you see like the camera is now attached you're just going to twist until it's secure and you will twist the other way when you want to remove it and then what else oh and then the button on the side is what i wanted to show you guys so this is what's going to tilt the camera when you press and hold the button on the side so i just need to figure out how to this is like not only a shooting grip uh a bluetooth remote control but also a tripod so just forgive the light you guys but your girl is stepping up oh aha your girl is stepping up her vlog game. In this video, we will be getting into a bit of a reset moment. I just had to get some deadlines out of the way and I did that. I've been crying about deadlines. Like if you watch maybe like two vlogs before, I've been saying the weeks are like throwing hands, bro. But I had to step away from work. I had to step away. So like, I did the last of it yes, uh, yesterday and I was just like, peace, like, um, I'm done. So we're just taking a little breather. I've been off um, vlogging for a minute as well because, like, I just wanted to focus on that. Um, anyone who knows knows that it's kind of difficult balancing, like, both things at the same time. And you always just got to prioritize appropriately. So the priority was work a bit. Um, but now that... I'm just taking a few days away from that. I can get back into blogging, which I love. I'm looking at the record button. Should I be looking at there or should I be looking at the lens? Okay, I'll figure it out. You guys will give me grace um, with this new camera and everything, but it's gonna be having like different kinds of resetting, you know what I mean? Possibly some rest, obviously. And then the biggest thing though is I do kind of want to like, um, take a moment and just like reflect um yeah i think that's the most important bit about a reset essentially just like you reset like mentally and emotionally as well so yeah if you guys are interested in that please stay tuned please like comment and subscribe and share and let's get more girlies up in here um and yeah so i'm gonna start with cleaning If you're in a space where you can't 
fully be yourself and where to use your words where I felt cornered, like you can't be, then of course this internalized homophobia is only gonna get worse and worse. It's not fair to you to put yourself in a corner and for everyone else to be living free. It's not okay. That's, That's so hard. I know. Welcome back. It is a Saturday and it is day three of my reset. As you saw yesterday, all I did was just like fall asleep. Like I was just like vegging the whole day. And I really kind of wanted a day like that just to like physically reset. I'm feeling super refreshed today. I feel so good. Um, we are going to head out. We want to kind of change environments today you know what i mean just like you know get be outside be outside and just refresh ourselves mentally as well so i am headed out to a tedx event um the very first in eswatini and i've got a friend that was speaking at it so i'm just wearing like this shirt with like my favorite jeans got a scarf and i will be wearing these boots but obviously because i'm driving i'm not gonna bother with that yet so um zoom out let's head out Now we will get collaboration, now we will get input, now we will have people engaging. But with time, their self-esteem also started to decline in the environment. With time, individuals will not participate. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. So, just got back from the Teddy Vans and it was cool. My girl, okay, uh, I was there like um, a friend of mine had like a talk, and her talk was absolutely incredible. She absolutely nailed it. Um, I'm just looking for my keys. Hold on. Yeah, now I'm about to head to. Let's go for a solo date, shall we? Yeah, let's let's actually do that because I'm starving. I need to eat. My only concern now is, am I able to drive in these boots, cha? Oh, I don't usually drive in heels, but I think I'm going to be fine. Let's try it. Um, and yeah, let's pray because I'm not taking them off and on again. Oh my gosh. They almost, in fact, like the zip on the right foot broke. So um, I don't know if I'm going to risk it. Um, but yeah, let's go get some food because I'm super hungry. Mm -hmm. strange just came to velvet monkey um i figured you know what i really wanted because i wanted something to eat and i was telling myself i'm gonna go get pizza at mandenga but since i haven't eaten all day i was like i actually want something kind of wholesome like kind of like you know healthier so i came to velvet monkey because they used to have this thing called a crying salad, basically just like um, a big chicken breast on a bit of um, baby spinach and a whole lot of veggies and it was really good. So that's what I really wanted. So I came here and they don't have it. Like, I, I think I'm shocked. I didn't realize that um, this 
Velvet Monkey had like maybe I think it's changed like owners as well because that's what usually happens with these menus. Like whenever menus change, you know someone else um, has taken over the joint. And I'm like, uh, like the menu was like really blah. So I just left. I'm I'm not gonna like spend that much for something I didn't really even want that much. You know what I mean? So um, we are going to go to our plan a anyways for mandenga um, i'm just gonna fill up some gas first though um but yeah no i'm not doing that i'm not doing it that's a shame that's a shame Alrighty, getting gas and it's such a nice day out you guys Oof, it's so nice <sighs> my hair is so oily but i don't care Wow. No wonder people were saying Velvet Monkey isn't worth it. You know what? If I've got nothing nice to say, let me not say anything at all. So that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna go change of plans. I think since I'm going to Mandenga now and it's behind the gables, I wanna do stuff like browse around a little bit. I'll just hold on to my hunger. But I want to just make sure I like browse around, get what I need to get, and then just sit once and for all at Mandenga. Instead of like going to Mandenga, like sitting. Ooh, but what if I wanted to get like ice cream? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Just getting the oil change and all that good stuff. I must have on the weekends.
Everybody tell me the answers Me and you isn't the answer Me and you isn't the answer Maybe I'm telling myself that There ain't nothing that'll change that What good would it be If I knew how you felt about me It could have been right there Only think about you when you come home Part of me that can't see this come And I know that I can't get caught up You could have been and tried to pretend What we could have planned, what we should